Good morning, beautiful souls. It's me, Christy, with Abundant Healing and Wellness. And as you can see, I'm all set up. I'm absolutely loving life here on the mountain. I can't even express to you. This is actually a dream come true for me. I know that sounds odd, but I've always wanted to live off the land. And this is perfect. Look at this. I've got my stove here. I've got my little cup of coffee right here. It's so beautiful. I'm all toasty warm. And check it out. I do have a, a, a stove over there. But I figured since I made my fire, I may as well cook my breakfast on here, right? So I got some potatoes and stuff in here. I just set it on there. So it's not very far. But... but anyway, I just thought I would check in with you guys. It's been a bit since I've made a video. And I thought I would uh, update you on what has happened since I've been here. Uh, I'm going to be, excuse me, I'm, I'm doing this as I've been doing videos and things previously. I thought it might be kind of cool to document what this experience is like for me. And so far, it's been amazing. Like, so amazing. So, oh, the first day I was already learning um, plant medicine, which was awesome because I have always loved plant medicine. So the very first day I was eating cottonwood seed pods and uh, from the tree. Yes, they're good for your respiratory, believe it or not. And that I was also eating... Um, pine sap which is is hard but you put it in your mouth and suck on it it softens and you can chew it like gum and it's really good for your heart and your respiratory as well plus i was eating eating uh elderberries the very first day and then there were some other berries anyway i just learned so much the first day we went to the well and got some water and then since then uh i've been hiking to the river to get my water and uh it's beautiful I mean, I've been here, wow, I've been here like nine days, and I love it. I tell you, waking up like this is amazing to me. Um, I also, what else did I do? So I paint a lot, and we help clear brush. Let's see if I could turn this a little bit. You could see outside there. So the land is right there, okay? And we're clearing uh, areas. Sorry about the wobble. We're clearing areas and getting it set up because it is a brand new commune. And if you're looking for a beautiful community, these guys are intelligent and they're just wonderful, loving, spiritual, kind souls. So uh, the river is down the hill, so I have to go down a ravine over two creeks to get to the river to get my water. Uh, on the second day, I started, oh, I thought I had it with me. I'll have to show up my next video. I started carving uh, a spoon. So I made my own spoon out of a stick, which Joanne, I'm sure you know, and all of the other people that know me that uh, know I'm crafty. That was like so cool to me, like to um, make my own spoon out of a stick. And I actually took a bunch of, uh, uh, oh shoot, I don't have any here, a bunch of tufts of pine that have... Uh, branches that have fallen down and they look like baby brooms so I put a bunch of them together on a stick and I made my own broom for my little kitchen area here so this is the kitchen where I am uh, the only person that usually comes in here is me this is where I do my kitchen and my art they have a cabin up there and there's another one over there so it's been absolutely amazing um, I walk around with my toothbrush oh you can see I'm all sooty and brush my teeth that way. I make my own toothpaste, so it's perfectly fine. I've been doing that for years. It's just uh, coconut oil and baking soda and peppermint extract and a couple packets of stevia. And that's how I uh, brush my teeth. So I just go around with my toothbrush rocking around outside. I don't need to rinse. And then I actually do uh, oil pulling. So I brush my teeth and then I swish this in my mouth for about 30 seconds and oil pulling is a very good thing it pulls all the toxicity out of your body so i just walk around the forest with my toothbrush and then, and then spit it out but i've done my oil pulling and my brushing of my teeth uh, i've been washing my socks and clothes at the river and i actually really like that because they're just it's just fresh 
And while I'm washing my laundry, I go down and I wash my face and my ears. And what else? Oh my gosh, I've just had so much fun. There's so many wild elderberries around here. It's freaking awesome. There's snowberries, elderberries. There's all kinds of berries around here. Huckleberries, everything. It's pretty amazing. So there's food literally everywhere. We went up to... Uh, so this is Hell's Canyon. In case you guys don't know where this is, I'm in Hell's Canyon. <laughs> Hell's Canyon. And I have to tell you, I've lived in Oregon my whole life, and I had no idea this beauty was here. So if you've not been to Hell's Canyon, do go to Hell's Canyon. It's kind of like a combination between New Mexico and Oregon mixed together. I think that's a good analogy for it. But it is absolutely stunning. And apparently at the top is all uh, indigenous, I hope I'm saying this correctly, native uh wild food lands. So like the whole top is nothing but uh, harvested uh, herbs and plant life. Get a little toasty there. And uh, things like that, plant medicine. The whole top is just covered with food and medicinal plants. So it's just phenomenal. The Inawana is the river that's right here. So the property that I'm on, the property goes from the river up the hill. So there's mountains up that way. It goes that way too. So it's a long strip. So, uh, yeah, at the end of the property is the river. Um, I go down there at least every other day and get my water. And then I lay out and I do my laundry and I paint, uh, sunbathe, do some meditation and stuff like that. Um, I have been doing an awful lot of writing, obviously. You guys could tell that because I published my book, which was amazing. Uh, there really is a lot to be said about connecting with Mother Nature. So what I would like to share with you is one of the things that I've learned the most about being up on this hill. And the thing that I learned the most was to shut out all the noise and not let other people rent space in my head rent-free, right? And to go ahead and push forward. I had a lot of people that didn't want me to write my book. And I'm not really quite sure why. Because uh, it doesn't really affect anyone other than maybe benefit a couple of people. Uh, the people the book is about are dead. So I'm not really sure what difference it makes. Besides that, uh, my mother helped me. She channeled to me and asked me to write the book. So it's mostly about her. So anyway, uh, so being up here on this mountain, shutting people out, uh, noise, outside noise, and just going inward and really, really connecting with Mother Nature. Uh, Mother Nature is so healing. It's not the first time that I've done this. Like um, five years ago when I was raped and assaulted, I went into the mountains and I found this little mossy pad on the riverbank. And I'm not kidding you. I laid there for four days begging Mother Earth to help heal me. And you know what? Look at me now. Uh, no, it didn't happen instantaneously. But it was the beginning of a beautiful journey because I was on this awakening path. And I, ha I wasn't aware of that at that time. And that was an actual trigger to help me heal some other traumas from my childhood. So I would like to give you your advice of, uh, please, to go in nature. Even if you're in the city, just, you know, sit on a patch of grass. Or if you can't do that, uh, maybe you could watch some nature videos. Those are always lovely. They always make me feel good. And... You hear the silence? You hear the crackle of the fire? You hear the breeze? The leaves? And the river. What more could anyone ask for, right? I obviously need to go down to the river and <laughs> wash my mittens tomorrow. However, I have to pull some branches today and clear some. Well, the boys cleared some land. I'm going to pile the wood. So, I just wanted to let you guys know what's going on up here on this mountain. It's beautiful. And I'm glad that I obviously ruffled a lot of feathers. I must be doing something right. So, words of wisdom. Don't let people get in your head. 
You've been programmed to believe that you can't do it. Other people, as strange as it is, I always get excited when other people succeed. It makes me happy for them. But honestly, a lot of people don't want you to succeed because they become um, jealous. They get in their feelers. They get in their ego and fear, and they think there won't be enough for them. And so they actually do and sometimes will do things to subconsciously or consciously try and stop you from fulfilling your dreams because uh, they don't want you to outshine them. So don't let them get in your head because you're beautiful. Your job literally is to do one thing in life. That's to love yourself. So that's my word of advice for you is don't let people get in your head and love yourself. It's very interesting with this vibrational frequency thing. I know that most of you are aware, but for those of you that aren't, when you go inward and you love yourself first, not in an egotistical way, in a loving, caring way like you would love your children, you raise your vibrational frequency and that also raises the vibrational frequency of those around you. It's a very complex thing. It's cause and effect, right? It's just the way the universe works. So what you need to do is realize that you've been programmed since the time you were born to be somebody that you're not. And your goal is to wake up and discover what you like, what you really want, what you really believe, and what your dreams are, and to go for it. Not to do what you are told because your parents told you this is the way we do things or stuff like that. It's for you to wake up and find you. I've been on my quest for a long time and uh, this beautiful experience that I'm having is a part of me discovering who I am. I always knew that I had the toughness in me but I really didn't have an opportunity to prove it to myself. And that gave me a great deal of confidence and a great deal of self-respect and self-love. Uh, at some point, you'll be seeing me build my own mud hut. Why? Because I like doing stuff like that. I like being out here in nature. I like that. That's who I am. And I guess if it bothers people, so be it because I'm living my true life. So love yourself first and foremost. Figure out who you are. Know that you are love. Know that we are all one and that your job is to wake up and remember the beautiful soul that you are so that we can uh, change this scary place to a more utopian society. Wake up and take your calling, right? The universe is calling you to stand up and speak your truth right now. And pretty soon, I'm going to be talking about some more serious stuff. I said that once before. And then uh, I had a couple of little marbles that threw under my got thrown under my feet. So I'm back, and I'm better than ever. And uh, I love you guys so much. And I want to thank each and every one of you for being here uh, for me on my path. If it wasn't for your presence it would be different. You know, we are one. So every single one of you that I've engaged with on my journey, I want to thank you so very much for being here uh, for me, for my personal growth and development. And love yourself. Don't let those people rent space in your head. And go for it. Follow your dreams. And I like that. We're at 14 minutes and uh, 14 seconds. Sending love and light from Christine Abundant Healing Wellness here on the Pinion Pine Commune. Excuse me, just Pinion. Apparently Pinion means pine. So the Pinion Commune, Christy and Abundant Healing and Wellness. Love and light.